for me Gave up your life for me On that tree Planted Inside of me Digging up the past inside my mind Trying for the life of me But the darkness comes to cover me up The light busts through But this darkness twisted inside Where I abide You try, I try I deserve to die But here you are, still by my side As long as you fight, so will I And I will write to make things wrong That I did wrong for so long You gave me a home, a place where I belong When everyone else turned their backs on me Right there you were, hold me. Lord, open the right door so these seeds will turn into fruitful trees. Forgive me for being the way that I was. Now I'm finally doing what I was meant to do. Meant to do. Meant to do. Turning these bruises into blues To sing for you Bring you to those that he told me to Sometimes these days and nights are just a fight Just trying to make my life worthy For my future life Think about you day and night Wonder if I'ma make it alright So I can hold you tight Every night Every night Sometimes I feel twisted up on the inside Sometimes I ponder if I'ma die Digging up the past In my mind In my mind Don't upset me Don't test me Especially if you ain't sexy I ain't talking about in the sheets I'm talking about when we pulling out the heat I said, in the sheets I'm talking about when we pulling out the heat Everybody Most of y'all ain't heard of me them. Most definitely I'm a B on MTV Chart talking hard hitters on these bars I can go on and on and on and on again Till you dry to the bone, 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 bone now you gone and gone and gone and gone Long gone so strong Not stop 
popping, even when I'm chart topping. Can you see it's my destiny? You best believe, or you can hate on me, and I'll leave your life filled to the fire. So hot, you can call me sire or general too, and you'll be in my spindle too. Popped it like a pimple, except it didn't hurt. You won't take off your pants and show me your underskirt, pussy. Especially if you ain't sexy I ain't talking about in the sheets I'm talking about when we pulling out the heat I said in the sheets I'm talking about when we pulling out the heat Still a car in the night Do a drive by on your wife Tap the back Cause I noticed that the car was gone Case closed before now it's open. Now the car belongs to the doping. When the spot, the car, they'll beat him and choke him. Get out of jail, free card. Now the guy in the back has a stash. If I whack him, that's a blue string. Another body blue. See what runs through his head. Don't fuck with me, motherfucker. You'll wind up in. I just might kill you. Back seat in the head Front seat jumps out of the car So I put the car in reverse And run over that retard Now No loose end Good luck catching the killer Nobody knows him Yeah I'm white but my name ain't Slim Or Shady baby You can call me crazy or Jay But I'ma have my heyday But the name's J-B I Double Z L E That's J Bizzle you see Names on your computer screens and TV. Don't upset me. Don't test me. Especially if you ain't sexy. Talking about me. I ain't talking about in the sheets. I'm talking about when we pulling out the heat. I said, in the sheets. I'm talking about when we pulling out the heat. Everybody's talking about me. Everybody's too blind to see, ay. be your own priority. Ay. Everybody's talking about me. Ay. Everybody's too blind to see. Ay. Don't upset me. Don't tense me. Especially if you ain't sexy. I ain't talking about in the sheets. I'm talking about when we pulling out the heat. I said. In the sheet, I'm about to be pouring out the heat. show yo i have been sick for a while guys days first day i'm feeling good i still kind of look sickly but you know what i got two new fire songs and i appreciate it so you know don't hate the player hate the game look man rap is violent and you know we just talking we just talking we just talk bull anyway so you know what i mean just have fun while you're doing it uh, anyway, so, I believe this is like episode 14 or something, but you're going to hear, I mean, next, what you're going to hear is for the life of me, and it's more religious, and you can cuss me all you want, say what you want to about me, um, you know, I'm just trying to make a career for myself and put money, it's hard to do in this world, um, I'm trying to do what I was meant here to do. 
Um, so that's that. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, Overlooked. So, uh, like I said, don't hate the player, hate the game. Uh, so if like basically what I want to do now is I want to talk about life changing moments. Uh, so you can go through a lot of your wild life and waste it. I did that for a long time. But eventually you get to the point where the video games are boring. The laying around's boring. Um, the drugs are boring. Uh, this, this is all boring. And I'm not perfect by any means uh, yet, but I've come a long way. And I ain't stopping till I'm chart topping. For real. I meant what I said in the song. Um, so to all y'all out there that... Um, have hopes and dreams. I want to talk about how do you unlock them. Where did those hopes and dreams come from? Okay. So if you're an atheist and you happen to be listening tonight. Okay. Yeah, you're going to see a Christian use a vape. But that's between, you know, that's between me and God. And I'm doing the best I can, man. It's hard to be in this world. And to not uh, be uh, simple. But anyway. I am enough. So what were we talking about? If you if you were the atheist. And you happen to be watching this. Where do those hopes and dreams come from? Where did they come from? You might say that you were influenced this way, that way, or the other. But I believe there's a seed planted in you. That God will plant seeds in you at certain times in your life. So that you will um, fulfill a mission while you're here. And like everybody wants to know why we're here and all that stuff. Well, the reason you're here is those hopes and dreams. You you hope to do this with your life. Maybe it's something simple like build a family, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. I also have that same dream. Okay? I do. I also have that same dream. That's why I'm doing them other hopes and dreams. And we're going to talk about some keys to success about unlocking those keys. What are those keys that um lead a one to uh, search out his hopes and dreams and follow them. Um, because it takes a lot of courage to um, to put out uh, and do your hopes and dreams. It's not easy. Now, it's not easy. But I love what I'm doing because I'm following my hopes and dreams. I'm following them. You know? So, also, for me, Honestly, God sent me somebody that changed me. And then he sent some other people to help me. And he sent other people to help me and help me and help me. So I'm at this position now. See, I, look guys. Um, let's see. 2020, I was living in motel rooms. It's not a lie, it's the truth. And then, because of my record and being a felon, nobody wanted to give me a place to live. For months and months and months. They didn't. They didn't want to give me a place to live. So. Anyway. Um, I think it doesn't mean this guy. It's a small place. It's a camper. I'll be honest with you. A camper. <laughs> and I lived in that camper for three years. But if that man had it never given me a second chance. Shout out to you, David, because uh, you're part of my success. I appreciate you. And everybody else that's helped me, too, you know who you are. I don't want to name drop on here uh, too much, but you know who you are, and I, you know I greatly appreciate you, And uh, because without all you angels, uh, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. 
And uh, I wouldn't be making the music I'm making. I wouldn't have a podcast. I wouldn't have 3,000 followers on TikTok. Uh, you know, I wouldn't have a SoundCloud. Um, many different things. Um, but I still got a road to tread. Now, I've been doing this almost a year now. And the next part I want to talk about is working out. Yeah, I vape. Yeah, I have a drink every once in a while. You see me have a drink right now. Um, but anyway, so I want to express like how working out really affected me. Okay. Once, and I have no elbow or joint in my left arm, so I couldn't do a single push up. But last night I did like. I've got right up to 75 at one point. Um, I started with nothing. My left arm was so weak. I started like this, guys. Look, and this, the exercise I've kind of been down for you. You go like this right here, but you're standing straight up, and it pops your chest muscles. You do that on both sides. I started with no weights. Then I moved up to five-pound wrist weights. Okay? Then I move up to seven-pound wielder weights. And now I'm up to 10-pound weights. And hopefully, by the end of the year and New Year's, I'm going to be on 15-pound weights. Now, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. Don't let other people hold you down. People are going to say nasty things about you. They will. They will. They're going to hate you for what you're doing. They're going to laugh at you. They're going to act like you're a joke. But they ain't going to think you're a joke. Once you've made a damn career out of it. Because God. Excuse my language. But he put those hopes and dreams inside of you for a reason. So that you can make a life for you and your family. Because I want to tell you. Listen. um, I draw a check every month. That's. uh, I've said that before. Uh, But that's nothing good. It's. It's a. It's not enough to live on, for one. It's really not. It's a struggle every month to get by. Um, and so I decided I was going to rehabilitate myself. And it took me meeting the right person. Now, I still love that person to this day. Uh, still have feelings for it. But that's not the person I'm going to marry. Believe it or not, um, I have uh, someone else, and we've been talking for a while now, um, but she lives overseas. Guys, and there's nothing wrong with you finding somebody that's overseas, too. Listen, you might you might not be a club person or a going out and party person. I'm not either. So how do you meet somebody? You meet them by... Uh, you know, online, talking, you know, and if they asked you to start doing this, that, and the other, red flag, red flag, money, 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 uh-uh, you know, no, that's not the person you're looking for, you're looking for the person that, for one, loves you for who you are, understands your situation, but beyond love, Will they be there for you when you're sick? Can they deal with you when you can't tolerate nobody else? You know, like, see, I'm a person that likes solitude. And guess what? I found somebody when I that's when I'm sick, they call, they check on me. They want to make sure I'm all right. It worries them to death. Um, You know, and I'm thankful for that. Like, and for some reason, when I can't talk to nobody else, I can talk to her. When everybody else annoys the piss out of me, I can talk to her. Now, that's a miracle to me. Um, so I want you guys to pray that uh, that uh, this thing gets moving because I really, I really want her here uh, as soon as possible, or me go see her there. 
but I, I, I just I'd rather have her living with me. Um, so pray for that, guys. Um, her name's Faith, and you all know who I am. Right there, it is the right there, the Jordan Bumgarner show, and uh, I guess that's gonna be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's show. We'll call it Hopes and Dreams episode thirteen, which rhymes. <laughs> I catch myself saying stuff all the time, rhyming now that I've started rhyming and freestyling and doing all that stuff. Um, but I enjoy what I'm doing. And I thank God for what I'm doing. I tell you what, working a nine to five was never meant for me. It wasn't. It just wasn't meant for me because I'll tell you why. Um, number one. It's so painful for me to work a nine to five. It's ridiculous. Like, if you had to work a nine to five in my shoes, you'd quit fast. I'm telling you, you would. Um. So, God planted those seeds in me to sing, to rap, and put those influences in my life. Like my dad playing those rock, that rock classic rock music. You know, every day in the car or every time I was in the car with him, you know, all the time. And my mom taking me to the mall, buying me Jay-Z's The Blueprint, um, buying me the first Eminem album, uh, you know, buying me whatever rap album that I asked for. You know, that influenced me early. You know, I believe maybe the first hip hop I ever heard was probably outcast and i love me some outcast man ice cold andre 3000 he's something else um absolutely amazing uh somebody to us to aspire to be as good as one day um so i'm gonna keep working on my music grind you guys and uh i love doing it uh and it's only getting better from here um, I'm pretty confident in my beats. I feel like my beats are up there with the best of them. Uh, so I'm trying to get better with the vocals. Uh, and uh, just pray for me, guys. You know that that I make it. Uh, but I don't think God would. No matter of fact, there's no thinking about it. I know that God wouldn't plant a seed in me and then I'll water it. So I'm going places. For real. I mean that with all my heart, mind, and soul. He wouldn't put stuff in me like this if it wasn't supposed to come out. Uh, just like he wouldn't put me in this house and tell me I was, you know, to prepare for a wife. And he did. He told me that stuff. Prepare for a wife and children. Now he told me that stuff. I believe it with all my heart. Anyway, that's gonna be today's show. God bless you guys. I'll see you Wednesday. I have some new songs for you, but I like rock music too. So you know, I make some rock. I make some jazz. I like it all. So you know, I make, I make all kinds of music. It's uh, I love all music. It's just built into me like that. We'll see you later. Peace.